We will begin with kaiten nage. In Aikido, this is the first technique learned by beginning fifth cue holders. This technique appears in the test for fifth cue holders. We perform the technique in this way, whereas in other Aikido styles, it is generally done like this. This is the kaitenage you generally see performed, but that way is not effective as a martial art. If we execute kaitenage like that, we will be stopped at this point. Therefore, we enter like this. As a result, the opponent cannot extend his hand. When we explain Aikido using the principles of the sword, we place emphasis on drawing the sword in a single movement. Let me ex first explain this. This is an application of the sword drawing movement. This is the movement of drawing the sword. the movement of drawing the sword. This is the moment of the sword draw. And then we turn. This movement is an important one. This is one of the Aikido sword movements. Let me demonstrate it now for you. The sword method corresponding to kaiten nage is executed like this in our practice. It's exactly the same. This is what the form looks like. Then there is one other kaitenage movement which is done like this. This is the position. It is executed like this. This is how it's done with the boken. Bring one more. I'd like you to pay particular attention to the angle of the sword and the foot movement. The hand movement is like this and the ken movement like this. At the moment the opponent strikes you, you enter like this. It's done in this way. That's the meaning of this movement. One more thing. This is the basic movement of the feet. All of the training methods of Aikido are based on this kaiten nage. Irimi is done like this.
This happens if I remain in the same place. This is wrong. This is the angle of my feet. This is the iriminage of Aikido. All of the techniques can be done based on these techniques. In martial arts, the key to defeating the opponent is to advance a half step rather than a full step. This is why the martial arts are said to be strict, and this too is the characteristic of Aikido. We also show it using this form of tenkan or turning movement. This is the movement, and we enter. Uh, bring in Bokeng. We use the ken to explain how the principle of the sword applies in Aikido. The purpose of the sword of Aikido is not to kill, but to show proper conduct. This is the sword of Aikido. When in front of the opponent, we draw the sword and strike his feet. This is how it is used. This is the sword of Aikido and the kaitenage we are practicing. We advance from Ikkyo to Nikkyo based on this kaitenage.